Hey guys, welcome to this video. I uh, hope you are doing great. Uh, today I am in Tokyo uh, and I thought I would uh, show you around a little bit. So I wanted to start this video here. Uh, the building behind me is uh, where I used to live uh, when I worked here in Tokyo. The neighborhood looks uh, pretty much the same as uh, when I was living here. There are a few uh, things that have been closed down and others uh, have of course opened. There is a new uh, building uh, next to where I lived. Pretty big one that's been uh, built up in just a couple of years. One of my favorite buildings uh, here in Tokyo uh, that I know of now is uh, the National Art uh, Center. It's designed by uh, Kurokawa-san that was also behind the Nakagin uh, capsule building that uh, recently was teared down. Kurokawa is, uh, is the founder or one of the founders of the metabolist uh, movement uh, and uh, was in the parliament as well. parks around Tokyo. Uh, today I've come to uh, Hibiya Park. Uh, it's a nice place to escape the city and uh, the heat. Uh, you can find a, a cool place in the, in the shadows uh, underneath the trees and, and cool off a little bit. There are also plenty of public restrooms and uh, trash bins which you may find uh, difficult to encounter otherwise around the city.
to show you the hotel room that I'm staying in. It's a Japanese business hotel uh, style room and uh, this is uh, basically what you can expect. Of course you can uh, find the more luxury and uh, bigger rooms but this is uh, uh, quite good I think for the for the pricing and if you are out all day and just come here to sleep then it's uh, for sure good enough. breakfast is uh, usually bought at 7-eleven uh, uh, I go for a cafe latte large size and a donut uh, uh, but I can recommend also you buy some uh, of the onigiris that are there
The biggest park in Tokyo is Yoyogi Park. Uh, it's huge. Uh, I recommend uh, you come here and when you do then get off at the Harajuku station instead of Yoyogi station. It's uh, much closer to the entrance. Um, you can see uh, on, in the summers there are a, a lot of people here uh, doing all sorts of activities, uh, enjoying themselves and uh, cooling off in the shade. On the small square behind me on Sundays uh, there are usually a group of rockabilly dancers performing. Uh, you can come and watch, I think they're still going. escaped the city to uh, Hamarikyu Gardens uh, which is located close to Shinbashi and uh, Hamamatsucho JR stations. It's a really beautiful garden, one of many in Tokyo and it's quite big. Uh, I have uh, not included so many of the classical tourist attractions here in this video. I find it uh, more enjoyable to walk the small streets and the back alleys uh, of the city and, and uh, look at the, the houses and, and uh, whatnot. Uh, I find it uh, more interesting to, to listen to the, the people talking and so on. And of course, uh, I really love Japanese uh, delicious food. I think you can find delicious food uh, in any restaurant you walk into here. I don't think you will miss anything from home when you come and visit Tokyo and Japan. Most things you can find here. If you are looking for any recommendation on restaurants and so on, I think that you don't really need it. You can find delicious food in any restaurant. They have a high quality, very high quality on the food that uh, they serve. Uh, so make up your mind what uh, delicious Japanese food you want to eat and find any restaurant that serves it, it will be delicious. Avoid those uh, crappy uh, international chains like McDonald's and uh, Burger King and whatnot. Skip those, eat Japanese food.
To end things, uh, when you come here, uh, be considerate to other people. Uh, th this goes for any country you visit, uh, even in your home country. Uh, and also, remember you are not special, no, no more special than anyone else. So, don't uh, act like you are. Uh, and with that, uh, I think this was it for uh, this video. See you in the next time, I hope.